Hello, welcome in for a quick little bonus reading. We're gonna do the what are their current feelings for you. So thinking of the person on your mind, tapping into what it is they are currently feeling, thinking, actions they wanna take. So there's not gonna be extended for this one. Um, the song I got on shuffle was, don't make me get violent. I want my ring back, baby, that's a diamond. You don't listen anyways, I'll be quiet. Um, it's by Carol's daughter. So the song is called Violent, but it's about like not wanting to fight. And it's kind of like, I always kind of, I've always come back. So there could be like a little spat that's happened. There could be a little bit of animosity over whatever this spat was between you and this person. Um, also, before I get into the reading, I am currently partnering with Soulmate Sketch, and if you use my link, you will get a reading for $30, basically a psychical draw. Your soulmate, they give you a PDF description of who you can expect. I did it myself. You can check my little reel. It's a lot of fun. Uh, check it out. I'll leave that link down below, but let's dive in and see what, what? is your person's current feelings. What is your person's current feelings for you? We have set intentions, plant the seeds and watch them grow. Okay, um, what is your person's current? I feel like this is more like New Year's energy. I feel like they're making their own intentions right now. We have the moon, subconscious mind, feminine intuition. I feel like there's been an argument recently or there was something that happened and I feel like intentions are being made like it's almost like feeling like I don't want to feel like this in the new year like this year I don't want to feel like this so there might be like something that was triggered for your person that's causing them to do some reflection as we are entering into a new year let's see let's get one more um we have healing allow light to enter your wound so yeah I feel like there is something they are focused on healing from. We have love, allow it to pour in and out of you. I do feel like there's some kind of perspective they're trying to gain that's more rooted in love versus like, I don't wanna fight anymore. Like obviously I don't wanna fight, but I also don't want to walk away from this situation. So it's like, how can I, how can I see this from a loving perspective, you know? Uh, so let's get some moonology cards. What is your person's current feelings towards you? What is your person's current feelings towards you? Adjustments are required. So yeah, it's like they're in a period of adjustment. There's definitely something that triggered this though. So I don't know if there was an argument or like a fallout that they had, whether it's between the two of you or in their own personal life, but they're like definitely reflecting on the fact that there's some changes that they need to make. Um, oh, and as I say that, I pull the Expect Powerful Change cards. So whatever this is, it was big enough that it's going to trigger some kind of big, big shift for them. What do you need to release? There's definitely habits or behaviors that they know they need to let go of. And I feel like they've done a lot of work on themselves, but there was something that like came up. What is this? What, what triggered this for them? What has triggered this for your person? Have Libra balance. So it could be relationships, contracts, partnerships, whether that's with you or there's some other, it could be like in overall, like in all of their relationships, there's like a consistent theme. Ah, oh, yeah, that's why I said that because 11th house friends, they could have even gotten in fights with their friends or it was like kind of a domino thing. There was a lot of things that happened in a row that there were kind of like, okay, this might be me. Like I might be the problem here. Leo, I will. Yeah, ego, ego, me, 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 the sun. So I do feel like they've had some kind of recognition of like, it might be me being the problem. And it might be just from the sole fact that they don't express themselves. And now they're like learning, they need to learn how to express themselves um, or express their truth their authenticity. All right, we're gonna use this deck because I forgot to bring the other deck over here. All right, so let's see. 
what what is your person's current feelings for you what is your person's current feelings for you current feelings current thoughts let's get the tea the emperor okay so there's a bit of pride here there is a bit of pride what is this what's the emperor doing here there's like pride this person's in a phase in their life too where they're like becoming more decisive they're becoming more um decisive and action oriented okay we have the three of swords so there's definitely an energy of like heartache disappointment so like i said even in the song it's like i want my ring back baby that's a diamond like there could be some residual anger or resentment because of some kind of ending here or because of some kind of spat um what why is the three of swords here the death card okay so this is about their current feelings towards you there could have been an ending here that they're feeling like really hurt and really prideful about but here's the thing it kind of correlates to this i don't think their pride is like helping them their pride the pride that they feel and the resentment that they feel it's like hurting them more than it's helping them so whatever ending there was here it's almost like their pride has caused them to push it further and further away and i feel like they don't like that they don't like that and they're realizing like this is kind of hurting nobody but me and i feel like it happens in multiple aspects of their life that like say they get in a fight with their friend and instead of just like apologizing to their friend or owning the mistake it's like they'll push even further to where it's like okay well i don't want to be friends with you then if you can't even like there's some kind of theme that's happening for this person that i feel like is coming up for them now and they're kind of realizing like okay i'm just pushing people away from me how does this person what is this person's current thoughts about you what is this person's current thoughts about you the ace of wands so fiery thoughts what is this person's very passionate very fiery the hangman <clears throat> fiery passionate thoughts but feeling like they're kind of at a standstill here like they sort of have to wait for the universe to make a decision not them what is this person's current thoughts about you the temperance yeah there's some reason that they feel like they need to be patient and divine timing this might be because of like healing um but they they want to make this move now they want to take action now but there's like something that it's like holding them back they feel like they need to be patient for what is this what's holding them back what's blocking what's the current block here the ace of cups waiting for their new beginning their new opportunity what's the current blocks the world card i do feel like it's it is closing up this old cycle okay there's an old cycle that needs to be shut down so that they can have this new pure beginning here and i think they might be waiting on that like you know sometimes when there's arguments you kind of have to wait for the time to pass and people to get over it that might be something that's happening here okay phone call coming in um let's see what's cur the current block here what's the current block the queen of pentacles yeah there's there's this i don't think you're gonna take action towards this situation so it's like they kind of have to meet you at your level and there needs to be like a closing of a cycle here what is the cycle that needs to close the knight of swords in reverse i do feel like this person is like curt and can be very like cutthroat with their words and that gets them into a lot of trouble and they say th they don't express themselves well and when they do like express themselves or they say something out of anger and then they think back to it later and they're like why did i do that like i really did want to talk to that person or like i really did want to apologize why didn't i just apologize now i've made this situation 10 times worse because of my pride and my ego so how is this person currently viewing you? 
How is this person currently viewing you? You have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, like you're good on your own. Two of pentacles, you've got options, solid options, stable options. They have to come in and add value. The page of wands and they're all they have is like, they don't have much value to offer you with the page of wands. They have like flirtation, a text message. What actions does this person want to take towards you? What actions is this person wanting to take towards you? The judgment. Oof. The six of pentacles. In order for this energy to be reciprocal, I feel like they know they need to, they're going to have to face judgment. There's some kind of judgment that they have to face that they're like prepping themselves for. But like I said, this could be with a lot of things in their lives. Like it's almost like they have to like repent. They have to come in and repent. And that for this person, I feel like is really hard. I feel like it's really hard for them to be like, I messed up because there's a good chance that you're like, you're right, you did. And for some reason, they're terrified of that. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, they want your like caring, open hearted vulnerability. And I think that they know that you're like that. They know that you're not going to be cruel or mean. I think that this person can be cruel and mean and they're afraid to get the same. They're afraid to like get what they dish out. They can't take what they dish out. So they're afraid that other people are going to be like them. Okay. We have the page of pentacles. They want to make you like a small offer. What is this? The justice card. Yeah, a small offer that it's like bringing fairness, bringing some kind of balance, dropping of the ego, and um, also letting you say the things that you need to say to them. Let's get some archetype cards. How is this person currently feeling about you? The femme fatale highlights the erotic energy of the feminine, opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. They're very, very attracted to you, okay? They find you very, very attractive. We do have the gambler here, which the shadow attribute is relying on luck rather than hard work, letting other people make decisions for you. Um, so I do feel like that's kind of this person's energy. Yeah, what is this person's current energy? Can we get, what is their current energy? The child wounded. Mm-hmm. Awakens compassion, desire to serve other wounded children, opens the learning path to forgiveness, shadow attributes, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, resists moving on through forgiveness. So they're stuck in like some kind of energy of resentment. What is this person's current energy? The knight, loyalty, romance, chivalry, a love of honor. So I do feel like they want to come in and make an offer, but there is like, they've got to get past the pride, but they've woken up to like, I need to like, let this go. Um, actions that they plan on taking towards you. The mentor, passing on wisdom and refining a student's character and the teacher, almost humbling themselves, coming in and allowing you to like, communicate to them and let them know like, you know, this is what I feel. We have the Midas Miser or come in and tell you like what they've learned. Midas Miser, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything into gold, delight in sharing life's riches, wanting to share their life. They don't want to do this alone. They don't want to hoard, hoarding money and emotions, obsessive fear over losing your wealth. So again, they want to like, there's some things they want to release and let go of. And I feel like that has to do with like their emotions and not being so closed off to people. Let's get some romance angels. Your person's current feelings towards you. Oh, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So I feel like that has to deal with the fact that they are, if they've been angry or they're like, they're fronting on something. There's something that this person's fronting on. Then we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. It's like they're trying to work through whatever it is that they're going through, or they do this as like a protection thing. How does this person feel about you? Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, it's like they want it to be more lighthearted. Express your love, but they're keeping this in. 
They're keeping this lighthearted energy in because we've got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like they feel like now is not the right time. Um, but that like they want it to feel lighter. There's something I feel and I feel like they know that they've contributed to this energy and it's like they want it to shift into something lighter. Like I don't want it to be heavy anymore. Like it's not that's not making me happy. That's not making you happy. Let's get some heart to heart messages from this person. What does this person want to communicate to you? I want you. So they do have strong desire for you. A strong desire and passion for you. You and I will always be unfinished business. So, oh my gosh, did I not just say this? I feel so much passion for you. Let's go. Two more, please. Messages from this person. Please forgive me. See, I do think that they want some kind of forgiveness here. They're just afraid to ask for it. I forgive you. Okay, so there's definitely been like mutual argument. Let's get one more message from this person. I see things that remind me of you everywhere I go. So I definitely feel like there is some kind of like dual forgiveness that's needed here. But I do feel like this person has a harder time showing up in that energy and taking ownership of or taking accountability. So they like push it away and like just deny, deny, deny. Um, and I feel like something's happened for this person recently that they're starting to realize like, oh, I like I need to stop doing this. So that is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this resonated and I will see you in one of my next readings. Bye.